what's going on guys it's your boy terabyte reacts here and we are back with another reaction of vikings this is season two episode seven I, what no <laughs> season two episode four i think um i think that's where we're at um uh, let me check um episode five yeah season two episode five and we're gonna jump into this man um I'm gonna do like two episodes because I know I missed a week. Um, but I probably won't put out both of them at the same time. Um, having a little bit of trouble at home at the current moment. So, yeah. So, from what we know, what's going on, man, we already know um, Yar Borg has taken over um, Ragnar's home. He had to leave. From where he was at over there where the um where him and the king was going up against these dudes over there in in england or whatever some parts over there i was really interested in the interactions that were going on over there but because of the situation back home he had to return home because his family basically so and also lagertha lagertha Lager, and Bjorn is back with them now. So we have that <clears throat> reuniting. How that's going to go down, I don't know. If she's going to behave, how is her and um um prince it's her and the princess cuz I can never remember her name, Hasla, Hasla, I think her name is. Um so I don't know how that interaction is going to go down now that Lagertha is back. Is she going to agree to, you know what I'm saying? I don't did she come back for Ragnar though you know what I'm saying or did she come back based because of you know Bjorn's feelings and you know just to make her son happy was that the reason why she returned or because we we know she loves Ragnar right and it it hurt her that she had to leave I didn't want her to leave um you know but at the same time like he had a responsibility you know, and he could, they could have become, you know, the, the polygamy, um, the, the polygamous family, but at the same time, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know, go Lagertha, because that's my girl, she, she, you got Lagertha, you don't need nobody else, you know what I'm saying, but apparently Ragnar does, so, <laughs> let's jump into this episode, man, season two, episode five, you guys already know what to do, go watch the episode, come back here, for the review, I'll see you guys back then. All right, so there you go, man. Season two, episode five. Great battles, great, uh, <laughs> great hallucinations. And a little bit of part there this, that was a little bit confusing in the episode. Um, so I'm going to talk about that first and then I'll talk about the other stuff that happened. Um, at the end there, I was a little bit confused about why Aslog, how, why she felt, why she was thanking um, Lagertha like that. Like that was what was a little confusing to me because does the prophecy that she said that she's afraid of is that what she is thanking her for did was was there a prophecy of you know the decision that if Lagertha decides to say it might jeopardize you know the future that she saw and that's what i'm saying like she's she discerns things you know what i'm saying so it's like she she i think she can see things in the future um so because, I mean, she did prophesy about her baby um, having the serpent eye and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> so there's that situation going on. So, that's what I was a little bit confused about. Not necessarily, like, I, I was just confused about the fact that how she was, it just came off a little bit weird because I never expected it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect her to thank Lagertha like that. Like, what are you thanking her for? 
exactly thanking her for leaving uh thanking her for leaving bjorn behind i don't know so that's what it just threw me off a little bit if you guys have a better explanation of that please leave it in the comment section i would love you know just don't don't leave any spoilers you know if you think there's something that i missed in past episodes that that's why that happened then you can go ahead and do that but if it's something that's going to be revealed later and i'll understand it better then by all means do not say anything okay so in the first part of the episode where we had that big fight them basically driving Jarl Borg out of you know what is it Kata, 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 I can't remember the name of their whole Katagag Katagag or whatever um so so yeah, so they drove them out of the home. It was a good battle. I really wanted some some one v one with Ragnar versus Borg, but it didn't happen. So there's a lot of scenes in this episode that really got me to thinking, like what to expect, like the whole situation that's going on with with the with Tathelstan and whatever his name is, the priest, right, back over in England. Him refusing to do the you know high mass and stuff like that like he's at a crossroads right now he's between you know what i'm saying faith or religion whatever you want to call it so i understand his situation because he's kind of stuck in the middle he doesn't really know what to do if he's supposed to you know what i'm saying at the end there last scene with him he was praying you know asking god to show him a sign to come back you know with him you know what i'm saying fill him with the holy spirit again like um it's you know what i'm saying he never actually denounced christianity it was more of like he was forced to understand and um Norse stuff so it's it's just kind of weird the situation that he's in um as in does he really believe in the Norse gods you know what I'm saying or was he just because he he, he figured that these people have a a good way of life and he just adapted you know what I'm saying because they treated him fearly you know what I'm saying it wasn't there's no slavery, you know what I'm saying? He was forced to kill, of course. Well, not really forced. He chose to to kill, you know, adapt the way of life that the Vikings live. So there's there's some weird situation. I'm I'm curious to see where his character arc is going to go because he's one of the more interesting arcs in the story that I'm following right now that I'm really enjoying. So I, I'm curious to see where he ends up. Um, is he going to adapt again and become a, another lackey? You know what I'm saying? Again, you know what I'm saying? So it was more of like, cause I mean, in this situation that he's in as a Christian pagan, whatever they want to call him, he's not really free with the Vikings. He was, free even though you know people like floki didn't trust him and stuff like that because floki is the he's the die hard you know what i'm saying like he's down with the gods whatever however whatever you know he feels like he's chosen so you know so he's always gonna look at people weird you know what i'm saying outside of the religion you know what i'm saying so it's his situation is, is a bit curious so he say he gonna put a baby in um in his Helga, so we'll see how that comes through. I like the conversation that Siggy had with Rolo, um you know asking him if he's still in love with um with Lagertha, and I love his answer. You know what I'm saying? So that was a really really interesting conversation. Like Rolo is is he's, he's coming back. He's coming back. You know what I'm saying? He's coming back. I um don't get me wrong. I love his character arc in the story is just that him betraying Ragnar it rubbed me the wrong way because he didn't have to see himself like that even though I understand how he saw himself he really did not have to see himself like that so I totally understand I totally get it so um so yeah Lagertha leaving again leaving Bjorn behind um I really feel for her you guys know that's Bay. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know, she is, she is, you know what I'm saying, beautiful woman, I love seeing her on screen, so every time I don't see her, you know what I'm saying, like, I miss her, you guys saw my face when she was revealed in season two, um, the first time we saw her again, um, she's just a beautiful woman, I love, look. I love seeing, I love looking at her, you know, <laughs> this is it, um, um, so yeah, man, so I like, this episode was pretty good. It was a pretty deep episode to um, Ragnar kind of bringing Bjorn into the fold, you know, um, showing him some tough love, you know, even though he welcomed him back. It's like, dude, you have a lot more to learn, you know, because the thing about it is that, like, the, there's also a prophecy about him, about Bjorn. So he's like, so if 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 Ragnar is supposed to groom him, to be that guy that he knows that he Bjorn is supposed to be even greater than him, you know, he knows Bjorn ain't going to die anytime soon because his prophecy is for him to be, you know, this conqueror of sorts. So, um, looking forward to that. So yeah, man, this episode was pretty lit. I liked it very much. And Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, enjoyed the review. Leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Don't just watch my videos, man. Subscribe, okay? I am out here. I'm trying to grind. I'm trying to get these things done. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, remember, you are Terabyte. You are Terror Squad. <laughs> I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys later, man. See you guys for the next episode, of course. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.